नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द फोर्थ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज टी के हल फ्रेंड्स बीइंग एन एक्टिव एग्री प्रैक्टिसनर ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट सॉइल टेस्टिंग एंड मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड और द सॉइल टेस्ट रिपोर्ट दिस इज बिकॉज इन द पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स स्पेशल एम्फेसिस वॉज गिवन बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑन सॉइल टेस्टिंग बट सैडली द सॉइल टेस्टिंग एज ए रूटीन इज येट टू पिक now is it needed to repeat that soil is a living system and the condition of most cultivable land is not that good so you know when we feel sick visit a doctor and as advised undergo certain tests and remedies are prescribed accordingly similarly soil testing is the most important diagnostic tool to understand soil conditions as soils cannot express their pain or suffering in words let us have a look at the various soil test parameters standards analysis of results and action on our part so that we can ensure our own survival and let the soil support our generations to come let us have a look at this table except for some minor variations from one lab to another parameters tested and standards are almost similar as presented in this table in the previous episode we have already discussed about organic carbon so the next parameter to be discussed here is ph ph is perhaps the best indicator of soil health most crops prefer normal soil that is ph 6.5 to 7.5 for optimum growth development and yield ph values below normal are acidic and with decline in ph value the extent of acidity increases while ph above 7.5 indicates salinity and it increases with the increase in ph similarly ec that is electrical conductivity below 1 is normal whereas higher values are harmful EC of soil indicates the amount of salt present in the soil. Soils contain some salts which are essential for plant growth, while additional salt in soil comes from the fertilizer we apply, from irrigation water and dissolving soil minerals. And this is harmful. And in this case, the EC is above 1. Now you know neither too much acidic nor saline or alkaline soil is good for any crop and one needs to adopt suitable remedial measures on priority in case where soils are more acidic use lime and use gypsum when it is saline or high ph and yes there are certain crops that we will discuss in further episodes tolerant to extreme conditions and growing them may help to improve the soil ph as regards major nutrients namely nitrogen phosphorus and potassium there are state region and crop specific recommendations by respective state department of agriculture or horticulture here it is very important to understand that those recommendations are to be directly adopted in case the soil test results indicate medium nutrient level while 25% reduction for higher range and 25% increase if the soil nutrient content is in the lower category for better understanding let us have an example see recommendation for maize crop in a particular state is 120 kg nitrogen 60 kg phosphate and 40 kg potassium per hectare now just assume that the soil test result for a particular plot is 500 kg nitrogen 10 kg phosphate and 250 kg potassium per hectare now if we compare the test result with the standards we'll find that nitrogen is high phosphate in the is in the low category and potassium is in the medium category in this case the farmer needs to apply 25% less than recommended of nitrogen that is 90 kg 
25% more of recommended phosphate that is 75 kg and 100% of K as it is in lithium category that is 40 kg potassium per hectare. Similarly, the test result of micronutrients that is sulfur, boron, zinc, copper, iron and manganese are indicated in two ways. Either in deficient or sufficient or high, medium and low. In case the test results are in the medium and higher category, nothing needs to be done. Whereas if it is deficient or in the low category, only the recommended dose is to be applied. Now you have very well understood the soil test result, its analysis and will be able to adopt it successfully. Friends, understanding the relevance of soil an urgency to take care of its health. Is it not our responsibility to spread the message that soil testing must be undertaken at least once in two years and recommendations on soil and crop management must be followed religiously? Friends, witnessing the gradual improvement in soil health must be a relaxing and proud moment for all of us. Now, in the upcoming videos, we will discuss various measures one by one. But it is just a caution that it is not necessary to follow every measure all the time. Input needs to be applied as per crop requirement and soil status, that is, soil test report from time to time. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe the channel. Share with friends and give feedback so that we could continue to include new topics of your interest for further discussion.